what's up traders i'm back with another brand new video in today's video i'm going to explain how i killed crash 1000 on on august 2 when i got more than 50 spikes in one day so i'm going to explain each and every steps that i took and the times that i waited so uh without further ado let's get started <laughs> Okay, traders. Uh, this chart right here, it's crash 1000. It's on daily time frame. As you can see, there are a lot of lines. But before before I start explaining everything, I'm going to I'm going to show you every single steps before before we do the basic and the crucial thing. So uh, personally, I trade I trade these instruments, boom and crash, like. Uh, like true steps I use I use those steps personally I have my own plans I have my own risk and reward management ratio I use uh, because uh, it depends upon your account some of you might use uh, one to three risk reward ratio you might risk one percent of your your account and you might uh, expect three percent of your account as a reward and some of you might prefer one to two or some of you might be uh, one to four ratio so it really depends upon your account means how much you have how much you have in your account and how much you're going to uh, risk for this trade so the trade that i took it's crash 1000 crash 1000 so the steps that i follow in my personal trading experience are like i go to higher time frame first uh, usually i start with daily time frame i start from daily time frame Okay, the thing that you need to know here, uh, some of you guys, I know you want to scalp those uh, like trains. Most of you guys actually like to scalp the trains, like uh, selling in boom and buying in crash. But, but I promise, I promise this this video, if you watch till the end, you will not regret because this will be more important for you in both directions. If you're trading spike or either trend it will be important because you need to know what the market is doing before you trade before you enter a trade or before you exit a trade you need to know what the market is doing and what will it do after five minutes 15 minutes or one hour or four hour so uh the first step i do i open my trading platform then if there are any trading uh, instruments that I've used before, like moving average, the trend lines, supporting resistance levels, all of them, what I do, I clean up all, all the charts, all the things I clean up first. Because uh, I, like clean and neat chart, it helps you to see what the market is doing. Sometimes the moving average and the, the, the levels, trend lines, and supporting resistance levels, they might hinder you from from looking what the market is doing sometimes you might miss patterns sometimes you might miss the levels important and key levels so let's let's clean our chart i'm going to remove this trend line right here yeah all of them i've removed them the supporting resistance levels so my chart is now clean i have only candlesticks we will go through all of the steps remember it's okay later you can add moving average later you can add resistance support in uh, trend lines also you can add rsi you can also add rsi it's okay but before we get started before we go into that level you need to clean your chart to see the clean image of the market so this is daily time frame on daily time frame most of the time i uh, identify the support and resistance levels so i have swing high swing high that means the most the most uh, uh peak point of the market and the most lowest point of the market here is swing low so these lines these two lines they act as support and resistance levels 
Whenever the market goes to these levels, we can wait for the market to give us confirmation and we can trade those levels. Okay, my target will be on August 2. I was, I was waiting for the market to give me confirmation on August 2. So let me show you where my target is. My target is here, around here, August 2. I was waiting for the market to give me confirmation around this point. So this market, it wasn't created. The market was around here. So I have drawn this swing high and swing low support and resistance. Actually this support area, it doesn't matter because the market is near the resistance. So I'm not going to use this line. So I can remove it, let it be there. The next step I'll do, I'll identify the trend line. I hope you know what trend line means I mean uh, okay let me explain this okay trend line means whenever the market is creating higher high and higher low while the market is going up that will be a trend if the market is going up and creating higher low and higher high that will be a trend line trend means it runs up pulls back runs up pulls back let me show you by uh, sketching this let's say the market went up like this then it created higher high and came down this called pullback then it created another high it means this point this is called higher low and created another higher high here and we turn back like this and then created another high low then it continues like this creating the zigzag line this zigzag line it tells us that the market is creating trend this is called a trend so how are we going to create a trend line or how are we going to uh, draw a trend line out of this market it's easy just identify if the market is going up identify those lower points not higher highs this is what this is higher low this is also higher low and this is also higher low so connect those points yeah you see it's easy i've connected these three points these three points these are lows and i connect them to get trend line this is called the blue line called trend line and the red one is the market the same thing works for downtrend if the market is going downward creating lower high and lower low just draw the trend line on the higher part opposite to this one same thing but in opposite direction so uh let us draw a trend line here on my chart crush 1000 it's easy here we have the market creating higher low higher low higher low higher low and higher low so what i have to do i just need to connect all these points it's super easy let me increase the size of this line so that you can see yeah you see on a daily time frame I have identified my resistance in support then I have identified a trend line like this I've told you guys my target is around here I'm waiting for the market to reach this area so I drew trend line like this I have a resistance from these two points so now let's go to the lower time frame 4 hour so when i go to 4 hour when i go to 4 hour i have my trend line the market came, came down touched here the trend went up pull back touched went up pull back like this like this it continued and i'm about to hit my target i was waiting for the market to reach this area since the market has tasted this area okay look at this area here the market went up and rejected came down remember this is four hour time frame then went up and touched the same point then pulled back so what does it mean this area it's high confluence area whenever the market reached this area you can wait for the opportunity actually you don't have to enter blindly just wait for confirmation so what i did the market the market reached this point and I waited for a confirmation 
since this area is high confluence area or resistance area there is a high probability that the market will reverse its direction so whenever i get the uh, i get confirmations like patterns i take opportunity out of that, that trade so we have identified this resistance area but uh, since this is area i can remove this line i can draw i can draw shape like this since it's area just to cover all the area yeah this yellow rectangle it tells us this area is a resistance area so now we have identified trend and resistance on our four hour time frame now let's go to one hour time frame okay on one hour time frame the market looks like this it tasted this area pull back tasted this area pull back and finally my target was reached so i'm waiting for another confirmation to sell or buy so since this area is high confluence area the, the market the market uh, we don't know what the market will do it might pull back down it might change the trend or it might even break up so let me zoom in and show you what the market created up here i hope you all see something around here let me let me remove let me move this point up here so we can see the market clearly since this area is high confluence area the target i'm waiting for the market to create confirmation around this point so what i got uh i got a trend here let me show you uh i think some of you might might see this we have a low here another low here and another low here so the market created high low high low high low three times so i connect these three points this point this point and this point this means that the market is creating descending triangle i hope you know what i hope you know what descending triangle means okay this is what descending descending triangle looks like this the, the, the blue lines they are the market prices and the red lines they are trend lines that i drew so the market went up pulled back went up pulled back went up and pulled back on the upper side the market will be creating equal highs high 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 these three highs they are equal but on the lower side we will have higher lows so the market created this higher low and another high low here so uh, after drawing these trend lines these red lines we wait for the market to break this pattern to break out of the triangle if it breaks in upward direction wait for the retest when the market retests buy enter buy trade if it breaks down our direction that's the trend reversal the market was going up created this ending triangle and broke down and retested so you sail around here that's a good opportunity that's what i'm talking about here crash 1000 created descending triangle up there we have the resistance level the yellow rectangle down here we have a trend line with higher lows so i was i was waiting for the market to break out of this triangle the market might go up and break in upper direction it finally broke down and I didn't enter blindly. You don't have to enter a market blindly. 
because uh, uh, because the market broke down i have to take this opportunity don't be greedy if you're being greedy the market let's say uh, the market broke down here and you entered around here let's say you entered here okay you entered it by good size one and unfortunately the market went up how much it pulled back 84 points on one lot side that would be 80 dollar can you hold that amount of loss can you hold it no most of the time you will not hold this amount of loss you will take the loss and you will get out of the market that means you missed all this opportunity you missed this big shark coming because you were greedy but if you're not greedy and if you wait for the market to retest you wait for the market to retest you went up and retested on this level on this level so what i did i did on this red candlestick as as soon as the market rejected here on this red candlestick i entered around here i took my entry my sale entry around here so the market as i told you it went all the way down all the way down so uh, let me let me show you my my take profit where my take profit was my take profit was uh around this high confluence area i didn't want to take my profit just blindly because uh it's in profit sometimes you have to let your profit run if it's going in your direction let it be let the market play uh don't be so fast so what I did, I identified high confluence area on this market, that this area. If you see this area, the market reached this, rejected, broke up, came down, rejected, rejected, again rejected. More than five times the market rejected this line. So what I did, I took my profit around here. This is how this is how you milk the market. You don't just milk the market blindly. I know most of the videos on YouTube they say if you enter around here and put the stop loss around here, take profit around here, you will milk the market. No, it's not like that. You have to go through all the steps. Go to daily time frame. Go to four hour time frame. Go to one hour time frame. Watch what the market is doing. Draw trend lines. Identify support and resistance lines. If you don't know how to support how to identify support and resistance lines there will be link in the description go to another videos there will be a plenty of videos on youtube watch them how to draw support and resistance if you know how to draw support and resistance voila it's cool now go to trend line draw trend lines after that uh, identify the market identify the patterns ascending triangle descending triangle rectangle patterns w patterns there are a lot of patterns bearish flag uh, bullish flag all of this if you want materials on this it's okay put put comment in the comment section i'll give you guys i have pdfs on these mat materials so this is how you milk the market this was let me measure the point i entered around here i took my profit around here that was around 579 points you know how much this is on one lot size on only one lot size that's around 580 dollars bro this is cool how this is how you trade just wait for the market to create good opportunity if you're a scalper it's okay if you can trade like this if you're a scalper too so I, I don't want to go further than this because it will be too long so in the next coming videos i will i will tell you guys more cool things how to trade boom and crash how to milk the market remember guys i'm on your side i'm trader like you i'm not on the broker side the broker is the one who's making money out of traders so we need to work together put some thoughts on the comment section let me know what you're thinking let me know how this video was so uh, we'll meet on the next video adios